So, um, why did you decide to release artworks under the skate room socially engaged model? And what stands out of you about this collaboration in our share aims? Uh, I'm talking, of course, about uh, your inclusion with ICNEC. Uh, you know, I have uh, many children. <laughs> and I have a total of eight children. And uh, uh, boarding, all different types of boarding, skateboarding, uh, snowboarding. Uh, my kids like to surf, all different types of boarding. We've always enjoyed. And I think that, uh, you know, skateboarding, it gives kids an opportunity to hang out together, to learn that they can do different things. And it's a, a wonderful activity that brings about people, young children feeling part of something. And that's what's really important in life, that uh, we're able to grow and to develop and to feel part of a larger whole. So, you know, I hope that the boards behind me here, uh, uh, the Popeye uh, boards or the, uh, the Balloon Venus, that, uh, you know, somebody can ride those boards and, uh, you know, they can feel a sense of happiness, of joy, of really, really being part of a larger community. You've uniquely named these artworks with a specific name, giving a name to the skateboard. And it's the first time an, an artist that we are collaborating with is giving a name to the art, to the skateboards, and not the same as the original works. Is that a clear decision from your side? You know, I, I, I guess the reason was really just to have the boards be uh, unique and that they're of this moment. Uh, we're celebrating the exhibition that's taking place in uh, Doha, uh, in Qatar, and the works uh, that we've created will be in the exhibition. And, I, I, you know, the, the Popeye with the, the reflective foil that's on the piece, and then the, the balloon Venus with the, you know, the visual reflection that's captured uh, in the imagery. Uh, all these aspects are really important to my work. And I think that I've continued to try to define uh, why I work with reflection, uh, how important I believe it is that we're able to feel the confidence within ourselves to accept ourselves and then to be able to be open to the external world. And I think that's one of the main reasons I work with reflection. Uh, it's about opening ourselves up to life experience. And I think that that element is captured uh, in these works that were chosen. Very interesting. Um, let's get into the ICNEC. Uh, you became a board member at ICNEC in uh, 2002 uh, and in 2007 co-founded the Kunz Family Institute uh, uh, on International Law and Policy as the organization's research arm. Can you talk a little bit about what drove you to support ICMEC in the first place and what you are proud to have personally seen develop over the 20 years uh, at ICMEC? Uh, you know, I have to say that I was, uh, you know, I was drawn uh, uh, to the National Center uh, in the United States for missing and exploited children you know, I thought, oh, there are all these areas in government that are there to protect uh, the children. But you find out quite quickly that it's much thinner. There, uh, There's not so much support there. But today, this is changing. And an organization like the International uh, Center for Missing and Exploited Children is there. there. There are numbers there to call. There are people around the world, different uh, partnerships, uh, uh, all working together with the International Center that effectively they can find uh, the lost children and, and can look for children and really try to make the ending of these stories be as positive as possible. Excellent. It must be an incredible support for ICMEC to have you on board and the Jeff Kuhn's uh, Family Foundation uh, to grant the support. Um, these artworks, let's go back to the skate decks maybe, these artworks will also be powering uh, the skate room's partner that we have proposed to you and to your studio, uh, building a skate park this time in Huaraca in uh, Mexico. Um, 
what attracts you about this the organizations linking skates and education but i think we've been talking about that uh, uh, earlier in the questions how do you see this fitting into the broader purpose of these artworks and the impact buyers can have because it's clearly in the statement of the skate room to propose to the buyers to engage engage their uh, their purchase their buying process to have an impact on the people don't you think nowadays with the situation in general in the world that we should maybe try to engage more of our consumption to have an impact on the one who don't have the chance to consume uh, you know charles i have to say that uh, the skate rooms activity and you know haka and uh, making this uh, skate park you know it's fantastic and you know we were speaking earlier about um, children uh, people being able to be part of a group part of an activity to give them something to do and to really keep really themselves in a very very positive direction and interacting have a social life with people understand uh, self accomplishment that you know I can do that and then to go home and lay in bed and think you know if I would only twist my knee a little further and shift my weight here I can do it and this type of vision and sense of self purpose is so fantastic and of course uh, you know all over the world i'm sure there are different places that you'll be interacting and places that you want to work but recently about i guess 2 years ago i had an exhibition in mexico city and masmoyano uh majorni was also the uh, the curator and uh, he's the same curator that uh, is making the exhibition with me in uh, Doha called Lost in America and in Mexico City it was the um appearance stripped bare and it was Marcel Duchamp's work and uh, my work together but i tell you the mexican people were fantastic absolutely so wonderful so supportive uh so optimistic uh they're there was no negativity you know if I, if i would look at different reactions on the internet of people on you know maybe instagram or something everybody is so supportive and they enjoy experience and i tell you i thought the mexican people were just absolutely uh, fantastic i totally agree with everything you have been say you, you said mr kunz thank you very much for that I would like to thank you because it will be the first time because of your show that I will go to visit Doha because I have never seen the Venus in in reality so I will definitely head to Doha I wish you a super uh, immense success with the show and a great trip to Doha and what up Hey I Charles so uh, maybe in Doha we can uh, skate together <laughs> <laughs> I will take a few skates with me in my bag and i hope we will we will see each other there to have a skate session together uh, we'll we'll find a location and we'll do it and let me know how many of your kids are really fans about skateboarding and i would would be a pleasure for me to send them a few decks for them to uh, to enjoy uh, you know that's fantastic but look I, you know I'm, i'm thrilled i'm really proud of the boards i think they look absolutely uh, beautiful and, and it's just great to be a part of what the skate room is doing. Thank you very much Mr. Coons. I wish you a brilliant day in New York and I hope to see you in the streets of Doha with the skates in our hands. Uh, uh, Charles we're going to do it. <laughs> <laughs>